second-hand coat I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat I tell my daddy not to be depressed All I need for happiness is the best I want a dime and nothing else has appeared And when it comes to men, you know how I feel I want a real man Give me a real man, you know what I mean I need. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, hey, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Hey, how are you? Yeah, so yeah, nice. That's what you yeah. need, brother. Here we go. For sure. Oh yeah. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Real Men. I'm your host, Tim Steves. We've assembled a group of all-star talkers to break down what's really wrong with real men. This is the show where men get real. Let's meet, let's meet the panel. Tim Reichert's here today. How you doing, Timmy? Yo, what's up, G? Whoa, yeah, I'm buying that. And uh, here's Noam Rosen joined us as well. Hey, Noam, what's up? Everything. Everything, okay. <laughs> enough, enough said on that as well. Lori Elliott's in the house. How are you, Lori? I'm real swell, thanks. Real swell, okay. <laughs> Kadar's here too. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm just chilling. Right on. And that's how we're going to get this segment. Uh, we're talking the politics of hip hop in this segment, and Kadar's going to kick it off. Go ahead, dude. All right, well, a hip hop, a hip it, a hip it to the hip hip hop. You don't stop, rock it to the bang bang boogie, say up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogity beat. Well, you know what? That boogity beat has not stopped since some blacks and Latinos in New York well over 20 years ago started stringing together a series of raps, now known as the hip hop generation, a billion dollar industry, made into billionaires and millionaires by young white kids who have bought more than 70% of the albums and the clothing. Your kids, white kids, anything new? I don't think so. Young white kids have loved black culture. Anything different, exciting, dangerous? They love that. And we as black people are glad to provide it. Once you pay us first. <laughs> Tim? <laughs> Thanks, Kadar. Nice job. Kadar setting the table, the politics of hip hop. What do you think, Noam? Can Whitey get down or what? You're little, we start right off with the Jewish guy here. What's going on? Do you? First of all, Jews invented hip hop. I know that's not a common known fact, but. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's not true. But the Beastie Boys have the Beastie some Jews Boys. in them. And uh, they tend to get down in a funky way. With well, the amazing, the Beastie Boys, the, the, these Jewish guys from an upper middle class neighborhood. Taken seriously in hardcore rap is pretty unbelievable. They were ripping off Vanilla Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. Vanilla Ice has had enough trouble without you ragging on him. Okay? Well, back, well, back to the Beastie Boys. I mean, um, okay. uh, young, especially Jewish kids out of New York, they were the first ones, the first whites to embrace the whole rap movement. And, really? uh, and you know what? Uh, uh, blacks embraced them and, and uh, said, you know what? There's more room for a lot of people. Just come on into the music. Timmy, are you a hip hop fan? I'm a huge hip hop fan now, and never was, and I'm 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 pissed that I wasn't. I'm I'm, I'm pissed that there's things I missed from my childhood because of some connotation they had. I.e., I was a rocker. I was into the Zeppelin and all that stuff. And when hip hop came out, it was kind of like disco sucks, and it was too it was dancey. Anything dancey, we couldn't we weren't allowed to get into because disco sucks, man, and you're a geek, right? Where so you? <laughs> what, well, like Kadar mentioned, uh, the Sugar Hill Gang. Where were you yep. when that all hit? Because I I was growing up in small town New Brunswick, and we still got that. I mean, we still, you know, that I loved that. I, I was mean, yeah, and how I do you miss that? I probably wasn't cool enough. I was running the opposite <laughs> way from anything with a beat, man. I okay, was like, disco, get it away. But right. now I'm loving it. I'm loving too it so urban. Much. It forces you to clap on beat. <laughs> you don't want to look yeah. bad in public. <laughs> yeah. Stick, yeah. I hear you working, Kadar. Stick to the Van Halen, Whitey. I hear you. <laughs> you, don't need to, you don't need to clap the Van Halen, though, no, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Lore? Are you a hip hop fan? I, I am. I definitely am. And I was way, I was, uh, I'm different from you because I was way more into it when I was younger because I, I found it made me really aware of, you know, of black culture in general. Like, you know, it, it, the, the words were messages, and, yeah. and it is, a, it's, a, it's a form of communication and stuff, and music in general, and music transcends, and it's, and it's great for that because it brings messages across. Yeah, and don't you like, Lori, that hip-hop music has balls where 
just uh, so much stuff, AM radio, gaga crap, just seems to be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, totally. It just sounds yeah. a lot less contrived, hip-hop music. You and know? Yes. rock sounds yeah. pieced yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Hip hop sounds like it just came from it the heart, from and it somewhere. is. It does come from the heart. It comes from the inner struggles. It comes from poverty. It comes from being downtrodden, and it's an, it, it's that expression coming out through music, through rhymes, that they were able to express themselves. And it, it's you know what the naysayers said it would never last, and it's been over twenty years, and. It's, it's it ain't surpassed. going anywhere. Yeah. It ain't going anywhere. Well, it's it's, in, our, it's on our, in our television ads. It's, <laughs> yeah. it, they're selling cars with it. They're selling Gap jeans with They'll it. They'll sell you that's whatever. Right. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, once they can make right. money off of it, and I, yeah. that's the one thing I love about American culture is once they can make money off of it, they're with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That is American culture. That is exactly. American culture. Yeah, yeah. Whether you're black, red, or green, doesn't matter. If we can make money off of it, we're with you. We're I, down, I homie. I this one guy, he was a Russian guy, when, when the whole sort of hip-hop thing was just starting up, he was the one saying, it's not music. He was mm. actually offensive enough to say, it's not music. <laughs> but you know Music what? is made up of this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is music not tester. music. Exactly. Came out the other side, not music. Well, not what's really music. funny is all guitars. the psychologists agree that the human voice speech, that is music. So ergo, yeah. rap has to be with the funky beat behind it. We're just about out of time, 15 seconds. Any last thought before we throw? I think this topic has a lot of legs. Why don't we stay with this topic? We're going to oh, do something yeah. else. Let's stay yeah. with hip-hop. When we come back, we're going to talk more on the politics of hip-hop. You're watching Real Men. That's the question. Sweet. We're back to Real Men. This is where men get real. Hey? Are you like, hey, hey, guys, look, I... Uh, hey? No, nah, all right, I'm sorry. Noam was making a nice point during the break. Noam, why don't you pick it up there? Uh, politics well, of hip-hop. Well, the politics of hip-hop uh, are really interesting in Israel because you've got these Ethiopian Jews who are being born there and raised there and stuff like that, and, and the kids are getting into hip-hop. They're getting into American hip-hop culture, and it's, it's kind of interesting to see it happening there because it's... It's very They're rolling around away. in raider gear. Is it freaking, <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. It freaking out the elders? Or are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, the yeah, the, hoodies and their the Ethiopian Nick parents who like <laughs> have never you know heard this stuff. They're like, what the hell is this stuff? So this weird American stuff entering into our Ethiopian Jewish households. But it's interesting. I went to Barbados uh, last year. But that's the power of the whole hip hop movement is that it will make a kid that lives in a 90 degree weather. Have a hoodie and a knit cap and <laughs> walk around in big Timberlands, you know. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Really, really that was my, that's why I never became a punk rocker. I didn't want to wear a leather jacket in the summertime. <laughs> it's, it's the uniform I don't like. Yeah, Lori, really Lori do you think there's anything wrong with white, uh, you know, rich, let's be honest, white rich kids from the suburbs walking around talking like that and with the pants hanging and the, the mm -hmm. underwear up to here? Do you, mm -hmm. Is there anything wrong with that? I, I don't know. I, I, to each his own. If you dress whatever way you want to dress, we dress w w the, the way we, you know, with respect to what we see, I'm sure. Dressing and is fine. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I no, I totally forgot. No, it's it's the, there's the dress is the one thing, but when they get, I get really creeped out when they start talking black. That's, that really that, creeps that's me. one thing that's that very disconcerting for me. Totally. Just, wait a second. How do you talk black? Well, well, you, you know, know what? me. What's up with my well, buddies? Yeah. Yeah. You know, wait a second. No, no, no. Wait a second. Like somebody like who who grew up in say like Detroit or something. Somebody like Eminem who's white. But who talks like that and gets accused? Where do you think he on? got the talk like that? He didn't get the talk like that from nowhere. He got it from he the black kids he was home. hanging out with in Detroit. Not just black kids; it's black and white kids. He always he, and all the white kids got the talk from the black kids. From the, black. Came <laughs> the black kids, no. I understand that. Twenty years from now, what we'll Noam's saying, saying I think what Noam's saying is it's uh, every bit a white kid's right to talk how he wants. Yeah, like if these Ethiopian Jewish kids want to talk like that, who, who gives a shit? Right to be a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 Kadar, now, Kadar, the politics of that, that's all fine, yep. your inflections and stuff, but what about the N bomb? Where does that all fall into this, you know? The dreaded N word. Yeah. yeah. yeah these kids. Negro, whatever you gotta say. Um, when, it's, when that word goes outside of the domain of being used uh, by uh, blacks to uh, taking back the word, taking back the phrase uh, as a negative connotation and making it a positive, my nigga, my boy. Um, when it's used by blacks, I think the um, predominant thought among blacks is that it's fine, but when it's used outside by whites or others, uh, I'm not sure if that's appreciated. That's, is that what, a what about by these kids Noam's talking about, both these little white Detroit kids? They grew up there, and so are they allowed they, to use it because they're part of their I don't culture? think, you know, I don't think it, necessarily the word is allowed to use it yeah, as allowed. much as 
you know, as if they use it because it's part of the culture. Now, now some who are within that culture don't mind. I mean, have a lot of white friends that say, yo, what's up, my nigga? You know, but when they say it to each other, yo, what's up, my nigga? The whole world, nigga, meaning something dirty, something not clean. And so if you want to say, hey, what's up, my nigga? You know, and, well, what's up, dirty guy? I mean, I don't know. Now, Is that what we're Kedar, do you, do you draw any line between the E-R ending and the G-A ending? I think that's all a part of the whole Ebonics thing, is they've made it nigga as, as opposed to nigger, um, which uh, a lot of times when I hear it, it's just like, you know what, man, that doesn't sound right at all. Does it make any difference to you? Or I, I, think it, I think it does to a certain extent, um, but it, I think it's all about taking back the, the power, taking back the harshness of the word. Like, like gay guys with fag and queer. And well, they, Lenny they, Bruce exactly did the same thing with, uh, with the N-bomb. He just used it and used it and used it the to more make you a point it. that let's take the power out of the word, you know? Look, now what it's about on these television. videos, though? Sorry, sorry, Noam. What about the videos that... Because I, I, I remember Public Enemy having a very different way of, of their video and their music and the message behind it as opposed to what we have today when it's bikini-clad women shaking their, their booties around. Pretty like, there's, there's well, why, how did it evolve to that? Because it was so much different Culture back evolves. then. Culture we evolves. got 10 seconds. we got to get out of here. When we come back <laughs> from this break, we're going to talk about photographing your girlfriend. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> baby, it'll be tasteful. Show us something, white boy. You like a little something? Show us uh, something, Whitey. Uh, yeah. There you go. Don't hurt nobody. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. That's all I go. That's awesome. <laughs> That's not all you got. That's not all you got. <laughs> Helicopter, baby. Helicopter. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. We've been talking hip-hop music. Now we're going to shift gears. As you can see, Lori's ready to go. She's going to kick off this segment. We're going to talk about photographing your girlfriend. Lore, kick it. Okay, I'm going to keep this very simple. If you are a woman and you're in a relationship with a man and you're not married, and whether you are married or not, it doesn't even matter, and he wants to take naked photographs of you and you say yes, other people are going to see them. Did you know that? A lot of other people are going to see them. Just so you know, I have no problem with having a picture taken of me naked if it's with a Polaroid camera, and then I can destroy the picture and the camera after just to make sure. Back to you, Tim. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Busted. Yeah. Well, let, let, let me bust her right back. I think back. Lori brings up a good point, don't you, Tim? Let me bust her right back. Because, bust away. Because what's the point in bust letting a move. guy take a picture of you naked if you don't want other people to see it? He's seen you naked. He doesn't need to see you naked. What? And there's nothing more erotic about a photograph than a person standing right so everything you... I know about uh, uh, from what I have learned from my boyfriends and friends and stuff is guys want naked pictures of women you know so they can show them to their friends maybe but they tell show the women it's so that they friends. can have a good time while their girlfriends away for the weekend that's well, yes. no, is that, that is... a guy's gonna use a picture of his own girlfriend to do a fantasy jerk off that will never so happen say, what, what if he's it? fighting in war what will never happen why, like why what is it why do women capitulate and say okay yeah take a picture of me because he's begged for months capitulate? why do you finally say yes wait a sec wait 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 what? stop okay what makes you think that some of these girls aren't initiating this exactly I, like, there's a, a guy lot has of always asked what? me I have never said, you know what you could really use? It's exactly. a naked picture of me. That's what <laughs> you could use. <laughs> what but position was that again? They're always some in girls, that position, Some girls, though, I agree. Some that girls are completely that into that, and that's fine. That was a V for peace. Victory. That, that was the spread eagle. <laughs> was that, was that really uh, bad friend. for TV? I hope my no, parents no, don't no. watch that. The no, no, no. The ratings have gone up tenfold. Now, do that again, and we'll pass the Simpsons, I've had friends whose boyfriends have taken pictures of them while they were sleeping. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's this guy. Right like there, there is, a, that's a guy wanting a naked picture of his girlfriend. Really bad. Check it out at www. No, of course not. Dot. But I'm just saying that's a guy as wanting. As soon as the topic comes up and the girl nothing. agrees to it, we know what she's agreeing. Okay, no, you don't. This? How about this? No, you don't. I have an she's signing a waiver. No, she's this is not. now web she's material. Not. She photographer, you. photographer, ex-girlfriend, okay. used to always send pictures of herself naked, uh, tied up, whatever, and now. Uh, years later, when it turns out that that girl was an evil, evil girl, I still have these pictures. What's a guy to do? <laughs> she didn't ask. What's for them a guy back? to do? She didn't. do the, know. Now you know there's whole internet things for this. There's whole internet things for this where you can like post 
naked pictures of, of your, your ex-girlfriend ex for revenge. And that's a horrible thing to do. Horrible. Ex-girlfriends.com, know me? You, are you serious? I don't know what it's called, but site? they're all out there. I'm yeah. going to visit. You know, I know I'm going in for a visit. People guess, are visiting right now. <laughs> Keep and, watching the show. And another thing that's dangerous about doing that, just if you're not an exhibitionist, because I know that you're, I agree, some women don't care. They don't care. Yeah. Watch Blind Date on TV. Like, a lot of people want to show off. They do. That's fine. But people like, you know, Tommy Lee getting broken into, Tommy Lee and Pamela getting broken Broken into and people making break millions into famous of people's oh, well, places. Oh, people Lori, steal Tommy their Lee, videos. hold on. Tommy Lee and Pamela gave that freaking tape to their they publicist. They gave that out. They right, they're they're making, tons of, they're making millions of dollars. I don't know. I didn't ask him. They're making millions of dollars off their home porn. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? that's on. fine. But they, people get broken into all the time if they're famous, and people will buy, will take the videotape. Well, let me just make sure. Oh, uh, the never, poor ever famous people with their home porn. And let you know if your boyfriend says he's taking a picture of you naked because he wants to use it while you're away. At war. Come on, wake up. He's using a magazine or some picture of somebody else. He just else. wants to hold a picture of he, you he up with one hand. He wants a picture of you so when you break up world. one day, he can give it away. Listen, a guy, will use, all a guy will use one at a time. One at a time. Liar, if he right. has to. He'll use a one at a time. Aunt Jemima, whatever it takes. But no, he's not going to use a picture of you. How come nobody's he's not gonna emphasizing use a picture the beauty? Of you. The beauty no. of photos that are naked. Why can't we talk about how wonderful it is that people have naked photography at all? That we don't have to do cave drawings of nakedness anymore. Well, that's that's good. I'm all hip for that. What about the video? Let's neat. talk video. Let's talk high eight. <laughs> yeah, hey? Even Videos more damning. Videos are wrong. Videos what? are wrong. 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 What? Seeing yourself naked, your bumping naked, pimply behind naked is not nice at all. I'm Leave so my behind. Me. Nobody's getting Why off is? to that, eh, Kadar? No. I am How so do you know that? Wrong, that. man. I, I wouldn't that, want that to see that. That should be burned. Video should not be used I for did it once. You did? Wrong. You took yourself out of sex? <laughs> yeah, me and my girlfriend ages ago. A different, yes. Not the girl I'm married to now. Sorry, oh. honey. But we were. Uh, you are in the dog house. Yeah, no, you are. You know. Go ahead, go ahead. We videotaped ourselves having sex just to see and then looked at it afterwards. And like Kadar says, it was just. Ugh, how did you shoot it, Timmy? Board. Timmy, yeah. how did you shoot it? On a tripod or did you go handheld? No, I was kind of on the dresser, but <laughs> tilted up with a book underneath it so that it could be kind of, you know. <laughs> Lighting? Do you have any the lighting? Oh, the harsh that's harsh the lighting? Candles. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the, that's the key. That's the yeah, problem. professional lighting. Yeah, it's hard to get in those maybe. shadows. Maybe Make night shoot. People. Might not want to go night shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, night shoot. <laughs> 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 <Gyno> cam. <laughs> no, awesome. have you ever done anything like that? Uh, I've I've never taped myself having sex. Like, I did think I I did have a, an encounter once that had some photos that were left from it, but they've since been burned. You know, I think uh, it's a natural thing to be curious about how you look while you're having sex. You look dumb, and you I think bad. that's the wonderful thing. You had no it. idea you were so fat and lazy. Yeah, I think one time. <laughs> I think screw I think you, I buddy. I know that and Tim Steve might himself having sex once. I think. What? Excuse me. I think I heard. I think I'm a friend of yours. Really? I think I heard that you might have. Taped yourself once? I go handheld, and that way yeah. your own body isn't in the shot. Can I ask you something? <laughs> when you were watching yourself having sex on tape, aside from the gruesomeness of it, which you seem to be sort of backing off from, but was there any arousal at all for no. the two of you? you know zero. I mean? Just zero, eh? Zero. Well, well A, it was yeah. a long shot. It's a wide shot. You can't. <laughs> it's not like a porn where we can cut different angles or in. Or put a wide it's angle just in. It's a wide shot of two bodies slapping together, and it's ugly, and you just don't. Oh, <laughs> on the yes, wide shot. It's, it's, it's always a guy's idea, and it's always a bad idea. Maybe you just needed better direction. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I needed two more cameramen, a sound guy, and a yeah. lighting guy. And yeah, you need a full crew. Full crew. Maybe had that's it. all. Yeah. Well, in lieu of that, then, just don't videotape yourself, unless you got the full crew. Another thing about you videotaping yourself while having sex, uh, was it nerve-wracking? No. No? You well, because I knew at the time it was only us that were going to see it. And so you it's forget not like, about the camera. Well, you assumed that. I didn't feel like I was performing. Well, I, it was my camera, my tape. Okay, so you were pretty <laughs> safe. I was in control. And what how did does she do feel, with the tape? Timmy? How did, what about at the breakup, or are we not seeing each other anymore? Where does that tape? How does it that break the breakup? I think the tape was destroyed about five minutes after we watched it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That was an executive decision. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We no, yeah, it was. suck. We, we, we erased it. We need to go that take my sex message. classes. That is total censorship. <laughs> that is censorship. <laughs> You've censored us. Yeah, if you saw my ass, you'd censor it too. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And that's now. Timmy Riker talking. Like, he's in pretty good shape, pretty good looking guy. Oh, Imagine how horrific the rest of us look. Oh, What's he Just hiding? don't do it. We got to get out of this <laughs> yeah. segment. Don't do it. Photographing your girlfriend. When we come back, we'll carry on with this. It's a pretty good conversation. We got a couple minutes left. Don't go away. Wide angle. It's nice to know that I'm average size, you guys. 
Hey, Kadar, would you ever photograph your girlfriend, videotape some sex? My uh, wife would absolutely abhor that if I did that. And, uh, and not to mention my girlfriend, she wouldn't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't no, like it either. Man, you, you don't want to do that because when you have that kind of hard evidence, part of the inspection, you got hard evidence, evidence lying yeah, around, evidence. your guests might just find it. Evidence? And then what, plug, yeah. it, in, plug it into the VCR right in front of you? <laughs> but yes. It happens you know, in the movies this? all the time. You, no, you don't want to leave that stuff around. I mean, that, that, it will get into the wrong hands. It will get into the wrong We destroyed that. My girlfriend and I Find its way onto the internet, perhaps. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. I don't know. Uh, suspicious, though. Like, you say you got to destroy the evidence, eh? It sounds like you got a bit of a guilty conscience. Sounds like it was a crime there. that was committed. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know what? After you, you watch it, after, yeah. after you watch yourself and you see just how nasty and pimply you look, you say, you know what? This is a crime. I you look know? fine. <laughs> no one else should see It really this. is. I when it comes be down arrested. to that, you videotape yourself. It really does come down to the ass pimples. I totally That's what it comes do. down to. You don't want to see those. It does. But you said yours is from a long angle. I got big ass pimples. Big ass pimples. Oh, now they have like 200, 400, 700 magnification. It really. You can really get into those good. pimples. Oh, God. <laughs> you can get into all of those little nooks and crannies. Look, I'm really turned on. Ass right Pimples now. is one of my favorite punk bands. They're <laughs> great. Right I like their early stuff. Your town, go see them. They're hot. <laughs> their early stuff is really good. Yeah, yeah their early good. stuff. Yeah, their early stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. I agree. I'm it's like, the opposite of the sneaker slogan. And if you do Just it, don't destroy do it. it. How about right you with away. your wife and girlfriend? How about you with your, your girlfriend? <laughs> do you, you, you had the experience. And uh, would you say it was a positive one or a negative one? It was definitely a negative one for us. But I'm far from saying don't do it because I know other people might just totally get off on it. And I know people do. Get, and maybe totally if you try to do. discourage people, they'll just be wanting to do it more. <laughs> exactly. Are you worried about that? Don't make something taboo or the kids will get into it. They'll be all taping each other having sex in my grade school now. I think if you do it, you should just destroy it right after. Lori, don't you think with all the new technology, the digital cameras and stuff, that you could, yeah. you could look good? You could find Find a way to oh, yeah, tweak yeah. the lighting. You could cut and paste my head the lighting, and put it on to Tory Big Knockers. Yeah, yeah. Tory Big Knockers? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to call get it. Get some blush in there on That's the ring. Name, but then it's Tory not really me, right? Tory Big right. Knockers. Ass it's not pimples. really me. Yeah. You know, I, just, I gotta be. Uh, I think a lot of people just don't me. know how to apply makeup to their genitals. That's right. I think that's and why. some people can't afford it. By Genital the of it. makeup application, very fussy business. Yeah. I know. So, uh, taught at George Tell Brown. Us. Do you do? Excellent course. Three well, months. Well, you know, the important thing I think for guys in porn. Ten is, seconds. Is, just tell us if you have ass pimples or not. I have right. no ass pimples. I have the most beautiful, soft. I have a bit ass. of ass pimplage. We're out. Hey, he sold me. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> and so are a whole lot of guys. <laughs> They're there too. Just waiting on you. Just commit a crime. Right. <laughs>